go, look at that. <laughs> oh, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Now you need the 20, whatever, 2011. Well. All right. So yeah, this one goes like this. And then, I don't know what this is. They look the They're same. They're the same. How do I know which one's which now? <laughs> how do I know the thickness? How, how do I even measure this? It's like <laughs> 0.25 millimeter. How These things I... are like almost exactly the same, except like, this one has useless like cutouts yeah, there. This thing. <laughs> what the heck? So I need the J3, right? Yeah. J3 is the second thickest. You measure the freaking width? I guess I'll just compare them. This one feels like the thickest. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder how big a difference these things even make anyways. It makes all the difference. This thing is kind of cool. I see the camera freaking focus. Thing on the side, but not, not J. Yeah, on both sides and then on. Okay, J1 and J3 doesn't. So okay. this is definitely out. So how do I know which one's which for these two? <laughs> it's like this is probably logic. J1, because this one feels thicker. J1 is the 0.25 millimeter, and then J3 is the 0.1. It's like a freaking logic puzzle. I just used it, this one. Okay. Alright. This is it, right? <laughs> Why did they install it with a LG1150? Because who the heck is water cooling 1150s? Who knows? That's like, that's like consumer class. Everyone has X99 who's doing this stuff. Alright, so like we're trying to test the pump and then we invented this piece of crap, so. What we have is the outlet over here going directly into the pump and then I plugged in the inlet over here so that um, it just makes like a really short loop. I'm just testing this just to make sure that the pump works. So just need to turn on the power supply, right? Yeah, I think so. I right, hope it doesn't splash in my face. There we Whoa! Go. <laughs> Something's going on. There we go, look at that! Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh my god. Damn, this thing is powerful. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's funny. <laughs> well, at least you know it that works. stuff doesn't leak and stuff. Alright, so here's what I got so far while I wasn't recording because the camera was out of battery. So this is my first bend over here, as you can see probably, if it focuses. Uh, I would say it's a pretty good bend, for at least the first bend. And for the drain valve, uh, I have uh, just a T-splitter here, and then uh, a male-to-male -male fitting, and then goes to a ball valve, and then goes to a 90-degree bend, so that I can like... Uh, an uh, put this uh, drain tube over here and then uh, drain my system if I wanted to. And I also have like a plug at the end just to make sure that the ball valve doesn't leak. And uh, right now I have a problem here because both GPU blocks are really heavy and then they're sagging a lot as you can see the top one but for the bottom one my solution is to just put like a tube underneath it to prop it up but I'm not really sure how to do the one for the top. All right, so as you can see, I have no idea how to fit this tube into those uh, fittings. So I think my solution is to take out this graphics card and then put in the tube and then uh, fit the graphics card in, back in, and then see if that works. Here we go.
Oh, I think it's doing it. Oh, damn. Look at that, I did it. There's a little bit of room in there, but... No, there's no room. It's just this card wiggling. But yeah, I got it in. Look at that. <laughs> so now I just need to push this... Push this O-ring all the way to the fitting and then uh, tighten this down. Alright, there we go. And then this O-ring and then tighten this down. And there we go. Ta-da! It's pretty tight, honestly. And hopefully this is gonna support the top graphics card a little bit so that it doesn't like sag down. And uh, judging from like wiggling here, it's not gonna have any movement, so... I think I'll be fine. Alright, as you can see, this tube is a little bit slanted, and that's because this tube is a little bit too long. Just a little bit. And that's gonna bug me. So I'm gonna take it apart, and then... Uh, just, I'm just gonna use the deburr tool to like, uh... Uh, trim down some of this tube. You'd be like, oh, it's just an ordinary, uh... Fitting, right? But if you rotate it, and uh, you'll see whatever the hell this is. Why, Primo Chill? Just clean up your product before sending it to me. And it's like solid. I don't even know what it is. All right, pretty good band, I have to say. Except it's a little bit long because I cut the tube. Uh at the wrong place, so I'm um, just gonna trim it a little bit and then it should be good. Alright, as you can see, this is uh, the right length now, but this is slanted. So that means this is too short. So that means I have to uh, bend this tube again, which means I'm probably not gonna get as good as uh, this one now. So let's give it a try. Yeah, this tube is bad now because I uh, bend it too fast and now it's got a kink. Uh, frick. I'm not gonna do with you now, huh? Uh, it's a stretching. See how far I can stretch. Uh, oh damn, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Alright, so here's something interesting. As I was uh, bending, the water inside starts to evaporate really fast. So as you can see, there's an air bubble here now. So that's why it's like bumped up. But uh, yeah, let me have this cool down a little bit more and uh, take the insert out, I guess. As you can see, there's a lot of fog in there. That means the water evaporated and then it condensed over there as I uh, dumped it in this water over here. So, uh, I'm not sure how to fix that because I need the water to lubricate the insert. Yeah. And uh, I guess I'll just put uh, less water in this. So I don't know what to do with this piece now. <laughs> Alright, so after this many tries, I finally did it. This bend, it's finally done. Now, it might look slanted on your screen. It's not because this tube is slanted it's because the reservoir is slanted. So, I guess it's because the pump is too heavy, it's like tilting this down. And there is a solution to that, and that is to put like washers on the bottom screws, but uh, considering everything is done, I'm too lazy to take off the pump. So, and this is not slanted that much. I would assume that it's gonna slant more when I, once I put uh, liquid in it, but. I mean, I really don't want to take off the pump because I have to screw it off from that side. That means I have to take off all the reservoir, the fans, and all those fittings. And yeah, I'm just not going to do that. All right, changing the plan right now because if I uh, put this bend up over here first, 
that means it's really hard to get this thing or this thing to here so uh I'm gonna do this bend first instead of going uh, this way down over up which is not gonna fit because the ram is in the way I'm gonna rotate this up and then rotate this down so that this one goes down over down into the CPU and then this has to go down over and then up hopefully that will work so I'm going to do this bend first, uh, from the CPU inlet to the top radiator. Alright, so I got this bend done and then uh, took me a couple of tries, but this is actually the second one because uh, the reason why it's the second one is because this is a little bit too long when I first uh, bent it. So um, it's like poking the uh, fitting this way a little bit. But then uh, I took a couple more tries and it got worse, so I just uh, literally moved the radiator this way a little bit. So now it fits. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do is uh, do the bend from uh, the GPU block to the uh, top reservoir. But the problem is, if you look at it from this angle, the top reservoir fitting is not on the same plane as the GPU fitting, so I have to like go down this way and then little bend here and then up alright so I got my first bend uh, it fit almost perfectly except this is a little bit too short so this is not gonna reach and also uh, this bend over here is still not tight enough and to like shorten this distance a little bit somehow alright so this bend is done and took us about two hours but uh, to be fair I did uh, we did go out and eat for like I don't know, 20 minutes. But yeah, this is not an easy bend, I have to say. It's probably the hardest bend here. And it took me a lot of tries to like just trim this tube over here so that this top tube is uh, perpendicular to the bottom. And yeah, that looks pretty good now. So I guess the last bend is from the uh, CPU to uh, the front radiator. So the final bend is done from the CPU to the uh, front radiator and then uh, this is probably the I was I thought this was the most complicated bin but this one took me about four hours yesterday and uh, yeah it's not even a complicated bin it's just really time consuming because <clears throat> uh, I it takes forever to get the insert in with olive oil and then after the bin it takes forever to uh, Clean up the olive oil in the band. So yeah, that took a long, long time. But it's pretty, uh, looks pretty nice now. So next step is filling the loop.